Do you struggle with any addictions or do you know someone that struggles with any type of addiction? You can be addicted to your cell phone. You can be addicted to watching TV too much throughout the day and maybe even working out too much. There's lots of different types of addictions that we don't think that we struggle with, but at some point we have to ask ourselves, what is addiction and how does it affect my life? One of the more prevalent addictions in America is that of nicotine addiction. Nicotine addiction is one of the more detrimental addictions that we see. Sometimes people are lifelong smokers and they develop COPD, other things of that nature. Sometimes you're just a social smoker on the weekends and you think that there's no problem with that. But a lot of Americans are active smokers, whether it be cigarettes or cigars or some people chew. Um, nicotine is a detrimental substance. Have you ever stopped to think about what happens to your body when you do stop smoking? After just 20 minutes, your heart rate goes down. After a day, the levels of carbon monoxide in your blood go down and you start to notice that you're breathing better. After one to three weeks, your risk of stroke and heart disease greatly decreases. And after a year, your risk for lung cancer, for esophageal cancer, for mouth cancer, these are all greatly decreased. Southeast Health is offering smoking cessation programs for those who are interested in quitting. If you've thought about quitting and maybe need that extra gumption or willpower to do so, we're offering these classes to help you and others like you to be able to quit smoking for good. We're in this together.